Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My brothers and sisters, is it true? Is the recession coming? And how is it exactly going to affect you? Now that's something I want to go through with you guys today The reality is, it is coming The reality is, things are going to get a little bit tricky But I want to explain to you exactly how So bear with me See, for the first time in many, many, many years House prices are going down Is this going to continue to happen? Yeah, I mean, house prices are actually going to go down. Why? Because look, if people don't have money to spend and buy houses and spend on their mortgage, which obviously we don't do, but if people don't have money for their mortgages and if people can't afford to buy houses, if less money is going around, then the product in itself, as in houses, are going to go down. So houses will go down, investments, if you invest in stocks and believe them to be permissible, the reality is there's a massive correction most likely coming and that comes at the back of a recession as well. So what should you guys be doing right now? If a recession is coming, how should you guys be playing it? See, many times whenever there's been a correction in the market, maybe house prices have gone down or you know people have been scared, it's tough, it's tough out there. But let me explain, you see, if you can make it through the tough period, which by the way, a lot of people struggle to make it through the tough period. But if you can, there's a lot of opportunity there also during those tough periods. So house prices will go down, investments will be cheap. Will cryptocurrency go down lower? Maybe. And so the point being is you should be able to get a lot of bargains, a lot of sales, a lot of, you know, as they say, like Christmas sales or whatever should be available in the next couple of, not necessarily months, but from the next six to 18 months, things should be a lot cheaper than they were for the last 10 years. So my point to you is this, try to have as much cash as you can in the bank account, try to keep uh, as much money as you can. I mean, if you're looking to buy a house right now, if you're looking to put in a lot of money into an investment, I wouldn't. I would also look at maybe starting a business, a company, or try to make money right now. And why would I do that? Because see, if you make money right now, if you've got access to another 50, 60 or 100,000 pound in another one, two years time, then it means that you've got more money to spend. If you could spend more, then you should be able to buy things at a cheaper value. And therefore, in another five to 10 years, you should be able to make a big return on the investments you make in the next three, four years when they're cheap. I'd also like to add the fact that if you can start a business within the next you know, 12 months, 18 months, it's actually the perfect time to start a business. And let me explain. You might not make a lot of money. You might not actually do that well. Having said that, if you can be there with your clients and your companies through tough times, for example, you pick up the phone and the client says, we've got nothing, it's recession, we've got nothing going on. And you say, not a problem. I understand th times are tough. So look, let me keep in touch. I'll give you a call in two months time. I'll give you a call in you know, a month's time. Let's have a catch up. Things might still not be working out for you, but I'm sure we're going to make it out when it gets better and then we'll be able to do things together. So the point is this, if you can build your relationships with your clients right now, from now to 18 months, whatever you're doing, you could be you know, doing gardening, you could be starting a recruitment company, a social media marketing company, whatever it is, if you build relationships with people during tough times, they will remember you in good times. And so that's my message to you. Try to set up something right now. It's the perfect time. If you look at history, history suggests that the companies that started during these recessions, many of them, honestly, did really, really well because they, had, they knew, they understood when the market is scared, when people are scared, when they're losing a lot of money, when they don't know what's gonna happen, you know, they don't wanna spend, but you can build relationships, you can build a connection, you can get to know people during that period. You come out and you will, honestly, 10 times, 20 times, make more than what you were going to make in the first and second year. The, the reason for that is simple. The company that gets in touch with you when times are good, you're not going to be as inclined to do business with them as a company that got in touch with you when times were hard, right? So trust me, start a company, try to do something, think of ideas, go on the internet, you know, come up with business ideas. Look, I, I obviously make a lot of videos about these things anyway, so try to use it. It's going to be tough, house prices are going to go down, the stock market is probably going to go down, cryptocurrency might go down, and if all these things start happening, people will get scared. Remember, when people are scared, probably the best time to start investing. So 
Don't chuck your money in things right now. Hold back. Cash is king right now. I have to be honest, for the next 12 months to 18 months, cash is king. So hold on to your money. Try not to invest. And inshallah, inshallah, whatever happens, happens for good. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.